Now people really think they know. They, yes, they really do. think they know. Yes, it's they like do. y'all do not know these people. What? I feel like the noise be so loud. I swear to God, like that hate that noise, the distraction, it be so loud. Like who really get caught into like the internet and reading shit about yourself? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. I be um home with my kids. Ugly with a button on. I don't even get it to that. Young Miami has been allegedly busy with some tea over the past couple of days. But it only makes sense that she would sing since this is how Diddy felt about their relationship. So what we is? We date. We dating. We go have date. Like her, there have been others with insider knowledge of what these men have been getting up to. After they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed, right? Jay-Z, over the course of his career, and I have to still say allegedly, has done things. Diddy's very recent run-in with the authorities might be the elephant in the room, but it's opened up several other secrets that have been staring us in the eye. Just like all the women who have been coming out to speak about Diddy have been doing, it seems Young Miami might be the newest person to sing about her behind-closed-doors experience with her one-time man. As it would appear, the rumors that have been swirling about how Diddy records literally everything might not have been an exaggeration. Not only was he doing it to the people he hated, but it seems he might have been doing it to someone who, get this, he's been accused of having affairs with. I'm talking about one person in particular, and it's the legendary Sean Carter. The details of there being a rumored secret affair between Jay-Z and Diddy is something that most people with internet connections have probably seen at one point. They're only springing back up now because of the very unexpected problem that seems to be looming around Diddy. Both men are tier one celebrities, and as such, only a handful of people probably have enough access to know something like that about them. Outside of their employees, who else do you think has an all-access front seat to these famous people's lives? Probably their love interests, in this case, Young Miami. It doesn't exactly come as a shock that this woman may be choosing this moment to sing, if not for the fact that almost every other person who has been involved with the rap mogul like her has spoken up. Then maybe she's spilling the tea because his days as a wealthy free man might be numbered. Judging by how the young woman has responsibilities to tend to, it doesn't seem out of place that she might want to get her own chunk out of this whale before it drowns. To achieve her goal, there is probably only a short list of people who could help her, seeing as Diddy has the infamous title of one of the most dangerous people in the industry, she is right to be choosy about who she delivers her message through. Well, it seems that she may have chosen 50 Cent for the job, as the rapper has made some recent moves that tell us once again that he might know a lot more about these men than is available to the public. After all, he was the same person that kept hammering on Diddy being everything these civil lawsuits have been claiming he is, and as we've seen with 50 over the years, this man isn't going easy on either Diddy or Jay. I'm not gonna forgive you. I would never forget. forget. And I just feel like if my husband cheat on me, I'm going to kill him. Like, I'm going to bury you. As one of the top 10 people credited with taking hip hop to where it currently is, it only checks out that 50 would know about whatever skeletons other people in the industry might be keeping in their closets. However, this case with Diddy and Jay is even a tad bit deeper. This is because these men aren't just random industry people he runs into at parties. These are the fellow rappers who literally carried the genre to where it is with him. Decades have passed and we've never been closer to the truth. In the spirit of making the necessary changes, it seems 50 might be joining the ride to expose his one-time colleagues. The thing most people seem to like the most about 50 Cent these days might be his attention to detail. Whether it's making a hit TV show, recording a fire track, or simply trolling his enemies, 50 Cent always seems to put special effort into making sure people resonate with his message. Ladies and gentlemen, the rapper turned film producer has done it once again. On Tuesday, 50 hopped on social media and asked where Jay had been after Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by Homeland Security in connection to an ST investigation. Jay and Diddy have been friends for years, so it's possible 50 is wondering why Hav hasn't publicly commented on Diddy's situation. I don't hear none of them who was at Diddy's toasting with that champagne every year, having speeches with me. Ain't nobody speak up for this man or nothing. When you're on top of the world. In one post, 
50 shared an image of Jay's face on the side of a milk carton with missing, written above the photo, and another picture of the Brooklyn rap legend on a red carpet waving at the cameras. Anybody seen Jay Lol Puff said the ain't answering his phone. Lol, Abranson Cognac, Alicham Indroy, 50 wrote in the first post. In the second, 50 said, here is Jay-Z last reported seen waving at Puffy Jet. As expected, 50's approach to the situation had fans scratching their head with questions. One user that fits this description perfectly wrote, Do y'all think someone in 50 Cent Circle told him Diddy been trying to call Jay-Z, but he's not responding and that's why 50 keeps saying it. That Hov is somehow involved in whatever it is Diddy has been up to, and rightfully so. 50 and Jay have an unusual type of history together. The pair had one of their first interactions in 1999 at Hot 97's Summer Jam when the Rock Nation boss told the G-Unit captain he would get him back for his diss on How to Rob. While performing, Jay rapped, Go against Jigga Yo Ass's Dents, I'm about a dollar. What the F is 50 cents? Jay would include the verse on It's Hot, Some Like It Hot, off Volmer 3, Life and Times of S. Carter, which kicked off a competitive rivalry between the two. Anyway, it seems the reason 50 seems to think Jay might be steering clear of his one-time best friend might be because of just how nasty their past might be. See, as I mentioned earlier, 50 Cent has a thing for exposing people, and he's been doing it much longer than his last post involving Diddy and Jay. Back in 2023, reports said 50 Cent had smoke for Diddy after digging through his video archives. At the time, after months of trolling Diddy, first with accusations of being involved in Tupac's M, and more recently, over the Bad Boy Records founder facing multiple allegations of S.A. and R. 50, went to Instagram with another joke. The 21 Questions rapper posted footage from Screamfest 07, his joint tour with T.I., and in the clip, we see Diddy and Jay-Z performing alongside the tour headliners. Just as Hov begins his 2003 song Encore, Diddy is seen smacking Hov's backside several times. That guy make my show hot, I so appreciate it. Yo, this, this show motherfucking city, nigga. 20 machine guns, only get 10 months, Diddy in the back, patting on ends butts, 50 Cent wrote in the caption, referencing T.I.'s 2007 arrest on gun charges. Nah, I ain't with it, I ain't never been with it, bars lol. The caption's opening line also nods to G-Unit's 2008 song, You So Tough, where he subliminally accuses a certain someone in the industry of being a police informant in exchange for a shortened sentence, but that's a story for another day. Although 50's jabs at Diddy on social media have been relentless in the past two weeks, the rapper and mogul seem to ease up post-Thanksgiving when a second S.A. lawsuit was filed against Diddy. Now that Jay-Z's name is also in the mix, it seems name-dropping season might be back on in full swing, and while that's bad news for them, their respective pasts don't make it any easier to believe in their friendship. For starters, Jay-Z has lied about cheating on his girlfriend-turned-wife Beyoncé for years, but infidelity just scratches the surface of how truly messed up this is. Apparently, there's another unethical side to Jay-Z as well. Jay reportedly has a thing for younger people, and it is disturbing. While in his late 20s, the rapper allegedly kept pursuing younger girls. A story leaked that he went after a then 15-year-old Foxy Brown when he was an adult. Brown was quoted as the source. After Jay-Z contacted her, she retracted the story, seemingly out of fear of the violent felony and woman beater. Rumors have been rife in the industry for years that Jay had S with a then underage singer, Rihanna, whom he signed at age 16 and he was in his 30s. Rihanna is now in her 30s. There were rumors that Jay was lying about being in his 40s, when industry people stated Jay-Z was already in his mid-50s and his wife Beyonce was actually in her mid-40s back in 2018 and lying about her age as well. The same was said of Jay-Z having S with singer-turned-reality star Terry Mari, who is now in her 30s. Jay-Z signed Terry at age 16 as well and used his influence to trick her into giving up the cherry. Terry and another of Jay-Z's mistresses, Bridget Kelly, would later be seen on the reality show Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, which gave them new careers after he destroyed theirs with mismanagement, substandard songs, and the wrong images. Rumors in the industry also stated Jay had S with the late singer Aaliyah when she was underage. Speaking of that, the rapper also did a joint album and tour with known music industry PR Kelly, 
who illegally married Aliyah when she was 15 and he was 27 by unlawfully supplying her with a fake ID. Her outraged parents had the wedding annulled. Birds of a feather probably flocked together. That's what I'm saying. What I'm here, I'm, I'm here for the people, man. I'm here to tell the truth. And, I'm here to... and there is more evidence. In a resurfaced interview from 2002, Nas spoke to Wendy Williams shortly after the release of R. Kelly's infamous S-tape featuring a young person. In light of the viral Surviving R. Kelly docuseries, a video of Wendy Williams interviewing Nas in 2002 recently resurfaced. The interview took place shortly after the infamous tape of R. Kelly and an underage girl leaked to the public, and Nas discussed the controversial singer with Wendy. A few months before the interview aired, Nas had dropped his 2001 album, Stillmatic, which featured the Jay-Z aimed diss track, Ether, widely regarded as one of the best diss tracks in hip hop. Nas told Wendy that he believed Jay was aware of Kelly's wrongdoings, saying, I could have shown the R. Kelly video that everybody's talking about and made fun of it and show pictures of Jay hanging out. You can't tell me Jay didn't see a 14-year-old G come into the studio and sit on R. Kelly's lap, he continued. You're gonna tell me he didn't see no 14-year-old G come into the vicinity? The rapper continued. He added that Kelly needs help, saying, I pray for him. I'm here for the people. I'm here to talk the truth. As for why these details might be coming from someone who used to date Diddy, it seems like this might have been Young Miami's plan all along. When Young Miami started dating Diddy, it was all everyone could talk about on the internet because most people felt like Diddy was too old to have something with someone like Young Miami. Besides the age gap that existed, there is also the fact that Diddy had a bad reputation so most people expected that Miami would at least thread carefully with the mogul. Well, it seems that might be exactly what she's doing now, as reports just came out that the No Bars rapper might be steering clear of the situation. According to reports from Young Miami's camp, it seems she might have been plotting her exit even before the most recent damaging news about her man's escapades with women from his past, and Jay-Z came out. Per the news, Young Miami's friend told Media Takeout that she spoke with Diddy weeks back, and they both decided to put their relationship on pause for now. While everyone knows exactly why the pair seem to be taking a pause, the explanation from Young Miami's friend points to the fact that this whole thing might be slightly more complicated than meets the eye. Karish's friend explained, with everything going on, Young Miami is just staying out of it. Who knows what the future holds, but for now, they both decided that it's best to just put things on break. She might be steering away from him because of the challenges that have been facing him in recent times, or maybe not, maybe it's because there are secrets she's privy to that might be far more damaging to his career than even his court cases. This is where Jay-Z comes into the equation. I know like me, you also have questions about these men's history, but we'll let news outlets come out with the details first. That's it. Goodbye.